This video series is brought to you by Dunleary Ratdown Libraries in association with Mark the Science Guy and supported by the Dormant Accounts Fund. The resources used throughout this series are part of the SFI Discover Primary Science and Maths Programme and Azero Ireland. What's up everybody? We're back at it here at the STEAM Lab and we hope you're enjoying our investigations and we hope you're trying out some of them too and I keep saying we. That reminds me, I better teleport Ali in. Uh, oh, oh, hey Ali! Mark, not again! I was in the middle of running a marathon! In the middle? Oh, well, uh, then you have ran half a marathon. Congratulations. You're breathing really heavy there, Ali. I was going really well, actually. I was on my way to getting a new PB. Ah, I love peanut butter. Actually, I haven't done my exercise today. Maybe we can get active. I can get my workout in and you can fix your marathon scenario. Okay, okay, I'm in. Well, you owe me big time. Awesome. Let's get fit and investigate what happens our bodies during exercise. Keeping active helps protect both your physical and mental health. And regular exercise helps you sleep, relax and feel better. Exercise can help reduce stress, can mm -hmm. boost your energy levels and it can really improve your mood. And it's also really good fun and a cool way to make new friends. Mm. Any kind of exercise is useful mm. and there's loads of different types of exercise out there. So find something that you like doing. What do you like doing? I really like going running and hiking because I really like being in nature while I'm exercising. I love playing football. And ping pong. Oh. Love a game of ping pong. When you're doing your favourite activities, you'll notice your heart beats faster and your breathing becomes harder than normal. Okay, let's do some exercise today and investigate our heart a little bit mm. more. The human body is an amazing thing. We can see, hear, smell, taste, touch, jump, play sports and do lots of things. It's made up of lots of organs working together to achieve a goal. Kind of like teammates working together to win a match. Yeah. And it's your heart that keeps you going. It's a muscle in your chest about the size of your fist. And it's a pump, pumping blood all around your body. And with the blood comes oxygen and nutrients, which are important to keep your muscles alive and working. The average human heart will beat anywhere between 60 and 100 times per mm. minute. So let's measure our pulses and see how they change before and after exercise. Let's do it. What you'll need for this is a watch, mm. a pencil, a piece of paper and a pulse. <laughs> To find your pulse, place your fingers on your wrist just below your thumb and count how many times you can feel a beat in 60 seconds. That's your heart rate. It's important to use your fingers when counting a pulse, not your thumb, as your thumb has its own pulse and that may confuse things. Okay, let's measure the pulses. Okay, okay, you ready? Okay, ready. So we're and gonna go. Make sure I have one. I can confirm, pulse located. Have a pulse. Okay, you ready? Yeah. And um, let's go. Minute. Okay. Okay. What'd right. you get? I got 72 beats per minute. Oh, 72. Okay. What'd um, you get? I felt my pulse 68 times. Okay, cool. Now, Ali, at certain points during that, I found it kind of tricky to kind of keep measuring the pulse and kind yeah. of couldn't really feel some of the beats. So here's another cool way to measure your pulse. What you'll need is a straw and some blue tack and your stopwatch again. Yeah. So okay. what you need to do here is find the pulse point at your wrist, mm -hmm. just like you did earlier on. And once you have it, Stick that piece of blue tack to your wrist, right in that spot. And then if you stick your straw inside your piece of blue tack and lay your arm flat on the table, keep it very still, you may notice the straw rocking backwards and forwards slightly as the pu blood pumped by your heart passes through your wrist. If you want and you have your watch from earlier, you can count how many times the straw rocks in a minute. That's really cool. Yeah. Now, your heart is one big muscle and like any muscle, it needs to be exercised to stay healthy. Keeping your heart fit and healthy makes it easier to pump blood all around your body and makes you feel more energized as well. So Ali, I hope you're ready for some exercise. Oh yeah, uh, touchy subject. Warming up before exercise helps your body prepare and it also means you're less likely to get injured. Start your exercise off slowly and then gradually build up your pace. We have a circuit here to get warm. Ali, let's get warmed up. Oh, where'd you get a whistle? <laughs> whistle. Oh. Hey, right, let's go. warm and knocked over most of the equipment let's put ourselves through some tests here at Explorium. First up the sprint track which measures your speed using lasers. Ah, like a 
we filled him out. <laughs> All right, let's test our reaction speeds. Next, let's test ourselves on the speed court used by top teams around the world. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> Take our pulse after all that exercise. Okay. Okay. Ready? Go. Okay. And stop. Whew. What'd you get that time? 120. Yeah, I got to up to about 132 that oh. time, I think. Pulse has clearly increased because when we exercise, our muscles need more oxygen than when we're resting. So our heart needs to work harder and pump faster to get the blood and oxygen where they need to be. As well as our pulse is getting faster, our breathing definitely got yep. louder and faster too. Let's take a closer look mm. at how breathing works. Breathing provides our body with the oxygen it needs. We breathe in oxygen to our lungs and breathe out carbon dioxide. And our body cells need this oxygen to make energy. When we exercise, our muscles need more oxygen. Yep. So we breathe harder and faster to get more air mm. into our lungs. So let's see how much air our lungs can hold. So what you'll need for this investigation is a large basin of water and a big plastic water bottle with a lid, about five liters mm. will do. You'll need some tubing. Oh. Bit of goo and uh, some towels for cleaning up. Okay, so first thing you need to do is fill up your plastic water bottle. As you're doing so, mark volumes along the side by filling it up with a known volume of water. One liter, two liter, three liters, it goes on. Okay, <laughs> next step, what you need to do is turn your bottle upside down and put it inside your basin of water. Now, once it's submerged in the water, it gets a bit tricky, mm -hmm. you need to take the lid off. So take the lid off in a way that the air won't be able to get inside. So make sure it stays underneath you got it. the surface of the water. All right, okay. Mark, uh -huh. what you need to do is place one end of your tube inside okay. that bottle. Again, making sure that the air can't get inside okay. the bottle. I can confirm insertion of the tube. Okay, lovely stuff. Now, next step, Mark, is take a deep breath. Okay. What you're going to do is you're going to take a deep breath in and you're going to blow into the tube for as long as you can. And we're going to see how much air your lungs can hold. All right. Ready? Go for it. What you'll see is an air space force at the top of the bottle. And this corresponds to how much air Mark can hold in his lungs. Woo! <gasps> that was amazing, Mark. You oh. hold more than five oh. and a half litres of oxygen oh. inside your lungs. Thank you, thank you. Oh. Gotta get oxygen because each time you breathe, your lungs fill with air and then empty again. And people who have a large lung capacity can send oxygen around their body faster. And you can increase your lung capacity by doing regular exercise. That was class. Why, thank you. Are you out of breath after Yes, that? I need to lie down. Okay, well, Mark, why don't we now investigate exactly how our lungs actually fill up with that air? All right. Your lungs are in your chest and are so big that they take up most of the space in there. You've got two lungs, but the lung on the left side of your body is a bit smaller than the lung on the right. Why, you ask? Well, the extra space leaves room for your heart. Your lungs are protected by your rib cage, which is made up of 12 pairs of ribs. Beneath the lungs is the diaphragm, which is the dome-shaped piece of muscle, which works with your lungs to allow you to inhale and exhale the air. So, Ali, let's build a model of the lungs. Okay. For this investigation, what you're going to need is a plastic water bottle, two balloons, and a scissors. All right. Okay. First step is to cut the bottom off your water bottle. Ooh, okay. Beast. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So then take one of your balloons and pop it inside the neck of your bottle. 
and stretch the neck of the balloon over the top of the bottle to keep it in place like that. Now, your second balloon is going to act like your body's diaphragm. So what you need to do is cut a small section off the top of your balloon like that. And then tie a knot in the neck of that balloon. That's gonna give you a handle, something to pull on to make the model work. Stretch your diaphragm balloon over the bottom of your bottle. Nice. Like that, making sure it's nice and tight. You can tape it in place if you really need to. Mm -hmm. And now what you should mm -hmm. see is that if you pull on the handle of the diaphragm, your lung should expand. Release it and it gets smaller. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe breathe in, breathe out. When you breathe in, your diaphragm moves down and your ribs move out. This makes the space bigger, so you get lower air pressure in your lungs. Air now rushes in from outside to fill the space. When you breathe out, your diaphragm moves up and your ribs move back in, and the air gets pushed out. In our model, the yellow balloon is the diaphragm, the pink balloon is our lungs. When the diaphragm moves down, air rushes in and the lungs fill up. When you push the diaphragm back in, the air is forced back out. Breathe, breathe in, breathe, breathe out. out. Breathe, breathe in. in. Breathe out. This mindfulness lesson has been brought to you by Mark and Ali. The body is such an amazing thing. It allows us to do all the things we like doing. And that's why it's so important to take care of it. We should all try and be active every day. There's so many fun activities to choose from. Team sports, fitness classes, hiking, running, walking, cycling. So find an activity that you like doing. I was like, who's saying that? <laughs> <laughs> we hope you enjoyed the investigations today. And remember, all of these and so much more can be found on the SFI Discover Primary Science and Matt's website, primaryscience.ie. Ali, you better get back to your marathon. Oh, uh, Mark, I don't know. Like at this stage, my time's going to be all over the place. I don't really know if there's that. <laughs> Loves a chat, that one. See you next time. That's got to hurt. This video series is brought to you by Dunleary Ratdown Libraries in association with Mark the Science Guy and supported by the Dormant Accounts Fund. The resources used throughout this series are part of the SFI Discover Primary Science and Maths Programme and Azero Ireland.